We're Ben, Emily and Alan. This is our narrowboat home and this is Rambler, our tiny narrowboat that we bought only a few months back. We're slowly renovating it as we travel along. Join us as we explore the UK via its canals and rivers in not only one narrowboat but two. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our adventures. In this week's episode we show you how we stay warm throughout the colder months on our narrowboat home and Benny has a very exciting addition to his narrowboat project Rambler. Ah. Morning Alan. Are you trying to keep warm by the fire? Well, sorry to tell you but it's not actually on. It's just gone out. So the reason I've let the fire go out this morning is because I need to clean it out. I need to sweep the chimney which means climbing on the roof of the boat and yeah sweeping the chimney with a with a chimney brush and then I'll come back in and clean the burner out I think it's going to be quite messy so a lot of people ask us is it cold on the boat in winter and the answer is actually not really it's like a house I guess or anything if you don't have heating on yeah you're going to be freezing cold the boat has got insulation and with the burner on it actually kicks out a lot of heat when it's going and usually we light it sort of at the end of October beginning of November and we don't really let it go out until the end of March so it's just going 24 hours a day every day unless we go away and then obviously we'll let it go out and then it takes a lot more fuel to get it going again we've got a more so squirrel that's what our wood burn is called and it is very very good so it is a multi-fuel stove so we can burn wood or coal in there and it actually keeps the fire in really well overnight in the morning you still got a great big pile of embers we usually use coal overnight we don't have any heating down the back end of the boat i think if you've been watching our videos for a while you might have heard me mention a few episodes back that i was going to put maybe put a little wood burner like benny's got for rambler in our bedroom but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, it sort of takes up too much space. I just, I'm not sure about that yet. Maybe one day, but I'm not too sure. Sometimes in the morning we'll wake up and it is quite chilly down that end of the boat. Um, but, you know, it just takes a few minutes just to get this fire back up and roaring again. Like I say, it's usually got embers in it, so it only takes a few minutes to get it going again and then we're really toasty. And actually, quite often we're too hot in here in winter, believe it or not. So obviously it is quite hard to stop things from getting damp in here. It's another reason to keep the fire going all the time, just to sort of help reduce that condensation and damp problems. So yeah, we do stay warm, even in very cold temperatures. As you've seen, Benny has a really cool little burner for Rambler, which he's going to be putting in by the end of this video I think so yes yeah, stick around to see that it's really really sweet it's such a cool little burner I best get on with this chimney sweeping and sorting out of the fire Benny usually does it but he's done it for the last few years so it's my turn let's go right so the first thing I need to do which I nearly forgot to do is close all the vents because once I start cleaning the chimney dust is going to come out everywhere and although we have a trusty air purifier, it's better just not to fill the boat with dust straight away. The roof really needs cleaning. Oh, hi Benny! We're just about to do the chimney. Oh, the boat is such a mess with all these leaves. Here it is! The magnificent brush. Right, I'm going to say that that's enough. Go back inside and clean it from the inside now. Oh, Benny, there's so much coming down. That's good. It is good, but I can't actually get this out, to be honest. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this definitely needs it to be. Struggling here. Okay, this is kind of a hindrance now, this piece of cardboard. Uh, it's 
the cup out first. Well, I put it there to catch all the stuff. Oh. Messier than I remember it being. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, I feel like I should have maybe put more stuff on the floor to protect it. Was it this messy last time? Yeah, it is. Did I just not do it last time? I feel no, like maybe no. you did it last it's, time. It's always the one of us that isn't you that does this job. <laughs> well, there you go, it's my turn, eh? Yeah. Well, that was uh, messier than I expected for some reason. You can't really tell because my trousers are black, but. Will you hoover me, Benny? She's sooty. Here. No! Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> Stop it! Hey, <Right>. Please! <laughs> She's got it all over your face, so. I think... It's run out of battery. I, no, it hasn't. I think I've kind of broken it. You need to go look in the mirror. <laughs> well, that was a bit more messy than I was expecting for some reason. Anyway, it's all done, it's clean, it's tidy, it's ready to go, but it's actually quite sunny and warm now, so I'm not gonna bother lighting the fire until later. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, <sighs> it's a bit of a task. And I uh, also cleaned the roof a bit, got all the leaves off, just getting it a bit ready for winter, really. You all right, Alan? She's been enjoying the sunshine today. Been out for a little walk, haven't you? So Benny's just um, shouted me to come and have a look at Rambler because apparently he's done some things that we need to see. So let's go. Hello, we're here. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, wow! Still waiting for the chimney, aren't you? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So I've done it makes two, such a like, nice little centre two piece. bits to put wood in. This one goes all the way back there. Yeah. But I'm gonna Lots of people are gonna say don't put wood under a wood burner. But it's got its own hearth and it actually well, stands I'm up. I'm gonna put this. it on a slate or something or a paving yeah. slab anyway. Cool. I'm gonna cover all this these bits with something like, like something imagine. like this. You oh, know, nice, but, but yeah. I'll, I'll stain it. <laughs> that looks so cool. Yeah. And you start you. building the the kitchen work surface. No, that's just wood that's propped. That's up, just isn't sat it? on here, just so it's out of the way. Are you getting? I a... don't have a I don't have a, a worktop yet. My plan is to sort of like tile all the way along there, and then tile up behind the cooker. Yeah. And then above the tile, have a shelf there. Yay! A lot of people have asked what it's called and where you got it from. It's called a pipsqueak stove. Yeah. You're not sponsored the by internet. them. You've paid for this. I so. wish I was sponsored by them, <laughs> but I just bought it. Um, and you just just searched pipsqueak stove. Yeah, I think they're nice because they're tiny, but like the attention to detail is just amazing, isn't it? It is nice how it looks a bit more vintage and old yeah. school, doesn't it? Yeah. It's cute. Oh, I don't even know if this is. I don't know how it's going to burn. They, a lot meant, of people have said it's. They're good. meant to be good. It says number one on it, so that's <laughs> promising. It? Yeah. <laughs> it says number one. But, I mean. Cool. But it is it's just a case of being patient, really, with the look of it, because it's all half made, and I think at some point it's just going to go like boom. I think it's you're doing look, pretty well. To it's going to look really nice at some point soon. Cool. Anyway, I'm probably going to spend an hour and a half tidying up now. Do you want the hoover in here? Because you actually... We need to get a hoover <laughs> in here. Yeah, we'll do it. Right, cool. Good work, Benny. Good work. I found these stickers from my old... An oh. old brew of beer that I made. <laughs> Ebony Glug in Benny's beer. I don't know, beer yeah, well, it's like an enormous bottle of beer being drizzled over a naked alien. I don't know what that's about. Who knows? Well, the sun's gone in. It's getting chilly. Should we light that fire? Yeah, I'm, I've actually like... got a fair bit more wood here for my cooks. Oh, cool. Right, well, I'll go and light it and then um, I'll see you in there, yeah? Okay. 
it's a nice spot but um, it's a little bit noisy with that train track. I think we might move up to the next bit where there's a water point and bins in the next day or so but as you can see we're quite busy. <laughs> so we, we just need a couple of days just to get some jobs done and stuff. I, I didn't film it all but I sorted the roof out earlier. I got rid of so many leaves. Put some of the wood under the solar and just tidied up a bit. Ignore this bit, I haven't done this bit yet. <laughs> As you can see, I finally got the stove installed, but we'll show you more about that in a minute because I am, of course, coming at you from the future right now. I need to show you something exciting, which is this. Our new Jackery. Jackery have kindly sent us their Explorer 1500 Pro Power Station. We've had it for over two months and it's been amazing. If you've been watching our videos for a while, you'll know that we already have an Explorer 1000 from Jackery and the solar panels. We've had it for over a year and we use it on a daily basis. I've been using the Jackery 1500 for every job that involves a plug-in power tool or to recharge batteries for the battery power tools. It's got two 1800 watt AC output sockets, two 18 watt USB sockets, two 100 watt USB-C sockets and a 10 amp carport socket. So it's got load, oh that's the light. <laughs> There's a 10 amp carport socket, so it's got loads of power. So with all this power at our disposal, you'd be able to understand what a game changer it's been for Benny while he's been building Rambler. He can use it for all of the power tools or whatever he needs in there. I've also been using it for my sewing machine. We also use it for daily tasks like charging laptops and phones, using it for the printer, the list just goes on. We absolutely love how portable it is. Because we have both boats, it's brilliant we can take it from one boat to the other or even to the van. If we charge it from the mains or from the inverter on the boat, it only takes two hours to fully charge, which is just incredible. You can also charge it from the Jackery solar panels or from a car cigarette lighter socket. It will make an excellent Christmas gift or a fine gift for yourself. They currently have some brilliant offers on until the 22nd of December with up to 50% off on Amazon or on their official website. For example, they currently have 33% off the Explorer 1500 Pro at the moment. We'll put the links in the description so you can go and check out Jackery for yourself. Thanks so much Jackery for sending us this amazing piece of kit. Good morning. So yesterday we moved, we left Polesworth and cruised about a mile and a half, two miles, something like that, to a place called Bradley Green. There's not a huge amount there, just somewhere to park and somewhere that we could fill up our water, get rid of our bins, stuff like that. It was a really nice little cruise actually, nice weather for it, a beautiful strip of English countryside. Um, and then we moored up just below the first lock of the Atherston lock flight. We wanted to moor somewhere that there was a bit of towpath space because Benny's doing something very exciting today. So I think he's out there already. I'll pass you over to him and I'll see you later. Well, we've got a beautiful day on our hands today and I've got a few boat jobs to do. So I've been building a frame for the front part of the floor, which has been a little bit more complicated because it has a V-shaped hull. So there isn't that many flat surfaces to build from but I've done a frame anyway and now I need to cut this ply to the right size so that I can slide it on top and then I'll have a whole floor well almost whole floor uh, I also drove past some pallets the other day and me and a friend got them in the van so I have some pallets to sort out which means I need to denail them sand them down and get them ready so the ply doesn't fit in in one piece so I'll cut it in half somewhere but I'm happy with this floor, there's still plenty of room to add ballast and also for some extra storage which is always welcome as we know. I'm just 
measuring this and it turns out the me what I measured now that I've built the frame is exactly what the ply just happens to be. It fits. Great. Well, that is one step forward. Still a lot to do though. So a friend has offered to help install the wood burner today. So we started doing it. He's got experience with these things more than me, especially with like the metal work and using an angle grinder. So I'm very grateful for the help. So here is the burner as it stands. Here are some of the bends that I got for it to bring it out further. I guessed what I needed to get with it as far as the flue goes, but I think it's actually gonna work out well. We've got this hole made. In the boat when we got it, it was actually one of these massive wood circle cutting drill bits. And it's the exact size of the hole that we need. As you can see, that's going to go in there nice. So what I've got for the collar outside is one of these. I'm not a huge fan of them, but because it's such a small flow, I didn't have many options. I couldn't really, couldn't really find anything else. So yeah, I think we're going to get the hole cut in the roof next. But on the outside, the handrail is actually in the way, so that's going to have to get cut. Somebody's already cut one of the handrails on here to put an extra mushroom vent on. Okay, so the hole's in. We've got this cover on the bolts. I haven't been quite tightened up yet. The bolts were a pain. <laughs> they were a pain to get in. We've done it. Very exciting. There's a hefty chonking bit in there. <laughs> Wood catching? Yeah, I think so. I reckon you just have to get used to lighting this because it's pretty It's going to be to, so different, yeah. isn't it? You're going to cut some really thin pieces. Yeah, like, yeah. Twig, like really almost nice. matches, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just to get it going, sort of thing. No problem. Wicked it's been job. A pleasure. <gasps> oh, so exciting. It's a big day for Rambler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How exciting is this? It's like putting the heart of the boat in, I think, because it's, you know, it's the heat and the, yeah, it's just, oh, it's so nice. Oops, I haven't learned how to close it yet, though. The Oxford Canal, but not actually Oxford itself. Need to figure that out. Massive thanks to our friend Keith who helped Benny today putting this in. I've been working over in the big boat, so that's why I've not been here, but yeah, they've done such a good job. Keith's very skilled, so uh, yeah, it's just it's so nice of him to come and, come and help out. The fire is in and it is working and it's drawing really well and yeah, it's so cool. It just means that now it's getting colder, Benny can work out here for a bit later, you know, and and do jobs and not be freezing cold because it's sort of like it's five five degrees in the evenings now yeah it's really cool so exciting <laughs> hi hello how you feeling good just need lots of tiny twigs now you excited yeah loving it how good is it it's so cool it's all happening yeah it's just getting the coals going in it now and I've just shut this back door just for a minute to see how it warms it up. It's a loud train. Yeah. Wow, look at that sunset. 
I know you've lit a fire today, but you still need to put the fireboard in, don't you? You've just yeah. lit a small fire for now, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I need to go pick up some fireboard. Yeah. And, and you've started building the front platform, yeah. haven't you? As well. Yeah. Oh, let's go in. Let's go into the cosy, cosy. Oh my goodness, it's nice and warm oh. in here. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. It's it's the perfect. Oh. I think it's the perfect size, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 It's just a really nice heat, isn't it? Yeah. And you don't want to get too hot now anyway, and also because you need to put the fireboard on yet. So that's going to yeah. go behind here as well, yeah, so. Yeah, it's great. How nice is Keith? Yeah, I can't believe he's just given us his day to do that. Yeah, it has taken a lot of the day. Yeah. He's very, very kind. And it's a brilliant job as well. He's just got, you know, his experience of angle grinder much more than I am. We ended up having to cut the, the bar, the handle bar. The handle I say rail. we. Keith cut the handrail, <laughs> uh, and then he cut a really neat hole in the top. He's so skilled with that angle yeah, grinder, isn't he? he really He's is. been doing it for more than 20 years, probably, hasn't he? Something I think. like that, yeah. So it's just ended up being a really tidy job. And this <laughs> flue I got looks really cool. It's quite stylish, actually. It's yeah. quite steampunk or something. <laughs> I was worried. I've got to say, I was a little bit worried about having like um, stainless steel with the black, but I think it looks really cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, it does. I think because it's got so many ridges on it, it's got like dark spots and light yeah, spots. So it looks interesting. It's not just like bright silver. Yeah. It is bright silver shiny, but it's. I know what you mean. It's got I a bit of like I don't know. It just it's looks got quality, in, yeah, doesn't it's got it? Yeah. Interest. Yeah. Next week we take a trip to Derbyshire for some canal history and I end up testing my fear of heights again. Oh my god, God, it's really bad! You're fine. You're gonna crawl? Yeah. Oh. oh god. See you next week. Bye!